Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to take a look at that egg sack that the Black Widow spider that we have in captivity laid. I've been watching this egg sack for a while, and it's been getting closer to closer that, you know, hatching time, which I believe is roughly about 30 days. We're, you know, two and a half, three weeks into it. You know, we're kind of pushing it. And that's just, you know, a guess of when I thought it laid the uh, egg sack. So as I said, we caught this Black Widow, we put it in a jar, I gave it a cricket to eat, and this is until I get a chance to feed the Black Widow, and then we will send it off to the Great Beyond, Splat. When they lay egg sacs like this, we have to get rid of them. Well, yeah, you gotta get rid of them, but we really have to get rid of them because the holes in the jar are, you know, big enough to let the Black Widow spider breathe. And the Black Widow Spider can't get out to those tiny holes, but babies, spiderlings, spider babies, spider monster babies can. So we can't risk an egg sack hatching on us. Yeah, remember we did the devil salt shaker where we had those uh, egg sacks in the salt shakers until they hatched? Yeah, that was creepy, right? And something else we have not done in a long time is we have not used our KK Moon video microscope. So we're going to fire up the old microscope and we will open this egg sack under secure, you know, conditions under that uh, microscope. And, you know, I call it a microscope. It's not. It's a video magnifying thing that looks like a microscope, but it's not. You're not going to look at germs or teeny tiny little microscopic things, microscope, you know, microscope, you're not going to look at stuff like this. These are made for looking at circuit boards. Yeah, they still call them a microscope. Anyways, we haven't fired up the old KK Moon microscope in a while, so let's open this egg sack under the microscope. Now, as a precaution, we have this in a big container, so we set the microscope in the container, and then we are setting the egg sack, as we always do, on one of those mouse sticky boards. When we're done, we can just fold it over, bam! If we have baby spiderlings come out of this thing, hopefully most of them will get stuck on the sticky boards. But if you breathe or exhale too heavily, you could actually blow these baby spider monster spiderlings out of the area. So that's why we are doing this also inside this container. Clearly there's no top on the container because I wouldn't have access to it. So it's not like, you know, fully enclosed, but we got some sidewalls there that'll definitely help us. So let's open it up. Other than that, you can see uh, I'm having a hard time getting the egg sac centered under the microscope. What happened is I centered the egg sac on the sticky board and I'm having a hard time getting it in the microscope. Open it up. Wow, that's kind of weird. All I see is Black Widow spider eggs. Well, no, that's not weird. I mean, I'm surprised we didn't see spider babies come out of here because oh, we've multiple times opened up that spider baby just boiling them out. Just scariest thing you ever saw. Well, I guess we can say disaster averted. <laughs> and as a quick note, the other Black Widow spider that we had in that other jar, the one that was in there forever, also laid an egg sack. Didn't expect it would happen, and it happened. I thought that one maybe hadn't bred, because remember, Black Widow spiders, after they mate, they only need to mate once, they hold that spider sperm in them, bam, can lay egg sacs for the rest of their life, as long as they have a good food supply. So if you have a Black Widow spider that is looking really big and eating good, it could lay an egg sac, unless it has never bred, and then bam, no egg sac. All right, so what do you think? Did we luck out here? Do you have Black Widows? Do you like Black Widows? Do you hate them? I hate all spiders like me. Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.